Hi, this is Henry Chamberlain, and welcome to this month's vlog. Well, first, a call out to my friends in Anchorage. I was up there last week with Boma Anchorage, a market of a quarter million people. They have 187 members. Just amazing participation, amazing support from the partners, and obviously a beautiful setting. Even though it was the depths of winter, I was up there for an economic forum, and it really was a pleasure to be up there. So thank you, Boma Anchorage. Um, before that, I was at a conference, the National Institute of Building Sciences. It's a group we've worked with for a long, long time. It was founded by Congress back in the 70s, and its charge is really to bring together government, industry, trade associations, construction folks, and talk about the built environment in ways that we can improve it. So it includes building codes, it includes technology, all the good stuff that we work on and partnering up. And each year we also issue a report back to the president and the Congress can act on it as well in terms of the issues that we see in front of the country that we need to deal with. Of course, infrastructure would be part of that. I was pleased to be there as part of their consultative council, which is where you bring CEOs together and the major groups to talk about those issues and compare notes. We all work together on that. It's a very collaborative group. Also, they have a CEO council working around resilience, not only recovering from national disasters, but then how do we learn from them in terms of strengthening our codes, response, the communications piece, and all the rest. So NIBS creates uh, really an amazing forum for everybody to work on. Um, at their innovation conference, uh, where those meetings were taking place, were great presentations on, with a theme around technology, obviously, the U.S. Embassy in London, that's a great case study on, you know, a platinum building, if you will. It's also a great case study on the American Geophysical Union that's gone to a net zero energy retrofit. So if you just go to agu.org, they've got a great case study there on what they've done here in Washington on a really unique property. So I recommend that you take a look at that. Of course, I'm a reader, so I want to throw us out a couple of books for you today. One is um, Steve Case has written The Third Wave. Um, it takes a look back on the AOL days and technology and what happened over the last 30 years. But its real focus is on the internet of everything, which is opening up markets. It's allowing entrepreneurs to create companies and jobs and all the good stuff. Then it's really changing how business is being done and how companies are being formed. You know, when you look at ULI's Emerging Trends 2018, they identify top markets and they include places like Salt Lake City, Raleigh, Nashville. We were in Nashville this summer. It's just an amazing market. Well, why? You know, they've got an educated workforce. They've got the technology and the infrastructure, and they've got an available workforce that can make things happen. Well, they're creating lots of jobs, lots of life, and of course, it's at a different price point than you'd see on the coast. So how business is going to be done, where it's going to be done, is changing a lot. We can all learn from that, and of course, those are case studies that we'll be talking about. I also want to talk about, you know, in terms of entrepreneurs, and a call out to our Home Depot friends, if you have never read or heard of Built from Scratch, and you're looking for a case study on how somebody went from zero to a multi-billion dollar company that was scaled up across the country. It's a great story on how people come together, support each other, create a business, and then grow it. And of course, that's the way we like to do business. And of course, that's the way BOMA members like to support each other in the communities with their business as well. Um, two other things. One is EER survey forms are out now. Please think about providing data. There's real value there. If you benchmark your building using that data and have a conversation with them, BOMA at the luncheon or the dinner or whatever with your local association, rule of thumb is you'll save 2 to 3%. You'll pick up some great insights, create some great business, some NOI, increase your asset values. EER has got a lot of value. It's worth the time. Please think about giving us data this year. And I look forward to seeing you at the Winter Business Meeting and Issues Conference. Obviously, it's very lively here in Washington. We'll have some fun. I hope you'll be with us. Thanks.